It is the 49ers Report right here on Chat Sports. I am your host, Chase Senior. Today's show is presented by our friends at Manscaped. Trey Lance is balling out at training camp. If you want to ball out with Manscaped, you can get 20% off and free shipping on the best men's grooming products by simply going to manscaped.com slash chat. You enter the promo code 49ers, you get 20% off and free shipping on all of the best men's grooming products, including the men's grooming products that your San Francisco 49ers use. You're watching the 49ers Report. I am Chase Senior. Hope all of you are having a great week. Let's get into the latest 49ers news and rumors. And we have to start with Trey Lance and check in on what he's doing in training camp because the guy has just been going off as a number three pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. Great news for this organization moving forward. He's been ready and prepared. Everything that Kyle Shanahan has put on his plate, Trey Lance has been able to handle it very seamlessly. He's been looking good against the twos. So we're kind of weighing... Should we be all aboard the hype train with Trey Lance, or should we be patient with the rookie? He's maximizing his reps with the twos, and I think that's a very good sign in the early going. One of the knocks on Trey, coming out of North Dakota State, his feet got wide, his arm slot was all over the place. That led to his, a in a his, led to his accuracy, excuse me, kind of being all over the place, but his accuracy has been improved in training camp thus far. And the athleticism, his ability to run the football, but also let it rip at all three levels of the field, has certainly been been a wow factor in training camp and at the end of the day of course it is practice but everything that Trey Lance has been doing has so far been impressive and he's caught the attention of his coaches as well as his teammates and now the media so let's read the tea leaves just a little bit because all of this hype goes back to the NFL draft process when we were going into the NFL draft. The 49ers had that pick at number three, and everybody was saying Niners are going to select Mac Jones because he makes the most sense for Kyle Shanahan's system. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not going to be a coward. I'm not going to buy into that hype. The Niners are going with either Justin Fields or Trey Lance. They're going to take a player at number three with unlimited upside, not a guy with a clear ceiling. I was right on that, and it seems as though I'm going to be right moving forward in the future. As for the hype that Trey Lance is so far being able to generate, here's what Matt Mayoko of NBC Sports Bay Area had to say. Mayoko, he's been covering this team for a long time. He was asked on a local radio station in San Francisco, have you ever seen a rookie play this well and impress this much in the early going. No, not even close, Mayoko said. Not even close. No, I do want to pump the brakes. Let's not get too carried away with it because they've only practiced in pads two days, but it's everything. He just has the right touch. He acts like a seasoned pro. And it's not just the skill set. It's everything about Trey Lance as the person because this guy is said to be a great leader. He works really hard. He kind of gels really well with his teammates. He has this cool, calm, and collected nature about him and this silent confidence that seems to be contagious for all of his teammates. And whether or not Trey Lance is going to be the starter is something we're going to continue to debate and discuss leading up to week one. And you have to look at it in a couple of different ways. Players certainly like Jimmy Garoppolo. He's been able to get their respect. That's for sure, because he helped lead this team to the Super Bowl just a couple of years ago. And oftentimes, when there is a quarterback competition, sometimes coaching staff will go with the player who has the respect of the locker room. And Jimmy G certainly has that respect. His play, in my opinion, has backed that up. But also on the other side of that conversation, they see the potential with Lance they see that this guy is an explosive and special player, and they see that this team can go into a different stratosphere with Trey Lance under center, even though he is a rookie quarterback. And this offense, I think, can be unleashed and debut a whole different set of plays with Trey Lance at quarterback because of that running ability. And for his teammates at the wide receiver position, running back as well as tight end, they see that potential which might then lead to better numbers. And if they're putting up better numbers and that helps them secure the bag, all is good at the end of the day. Should we pump the brakes on this Trey Lance hype? Maybe a little bit. He's only a rookie. The pads just came on a couple days ago. Let's see what this guy can do in the preseason when there are some bodies flying around him, right? But over the last two days at training camp, our guy Trey Lance has gone a combined 
27 of 29. And on Tuesday and Wednesday, he first completed 14 of 15 passes, then 13 of 14 passes. That accuracy, certainly legit. And offensive coordinator Mike McDaniel sees it. He's getting to the point where he can correct other players. That coming from offensive coordinator Mike McDaniel. An NFL defensive coordinator heaped a lot of praise upon Trey Lance, saying this, it would not surprise me if Lance was starting midway through the season. I think he has a little bit of Patrick Mahomes type traits. That is certainly lofty praise, and a lot of people have asked me about the comparisons between Trey Lance as well as Patrick Mahomes. I said yesterday that if you don't start Lance if he's ready from week one, you're kind of wasting his talent a little bit. And some people chimed in and said, well, what about what about Patrick Mahomes? He really didn't start that entire first season. Here's the difference, though. Patrick Mahomes wasn't ready to play as a rookie in week one. Alex Smith, of course, the savvy veteran, was. So KC went with the veteran who was ready to play over the raw rookie in Patrick Mahomes. But if Trey Lance is ready, I think it'd be wise for Kyle Shanahan to start him from the jump and maximize that potential to get him those important reps for a team that I expect to be competing for an NFC West crown and possibly an NFC crown as well. So could the 49ers win a playoff game with Trey Lance as the starter? Sound off in the comment section. Type Y for yes, type N for no. Be sure to get those votes in in the comment section down below. Trey Lance spins a very pretty deep ball. And if you want pretty balls, you can get hooked up with the brand new Lawnmower 4.0 thanks to our friends at Manscaped. You can get 20% off right now and free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash 49ers. That link is in the description as well as the comment section of this video. The technology on this thing, kind of like Trey Lance's arm, absolutely ridiculous. Four interchangeable blades, a battery life that lasts forever. There's a light on this bad boy so you can kind of see what you're doing, especially when you go down into the nether region. Once again, manscaped.com slash 49ers. You get 20% off and free shipping. Some of you may be fatigued by the Jimmy Garoppolo trade rumors, but as long as Trey Lance continues to play well, we're going to continue to talk about it. The play and development of Lance has led to all of this Jimmy G trade speculation. And it's not just getting buzz locally, it's getting buzz nationally, which we'll explore here coming up. I think Jimmy G is capable of winning games. He's done that. It's not ability for him, it's availability. The injuries have just become way too problematic over time. You look at this guy's record, it's been very good, especially with Kyle Shanahan. But if you get great trade value back for Jimmy G, is trading him away to a quarterback desperate team smart? I think it is if Trey Lance is ready to play. This is something that Colin Cowherd recently explored saying this. When you're handing out effusive praise like John Lynch was earlier this week for Garoppolo, you're building up the market. And when you're talking about how great Trey Lance is, you're also saying, don't doubt us. Don't think we're concerned about it. He's way ahead of schedule. Oh my God, Trey Lance is so smart. Trey Lance is running around. It's practice. They're moving Garoppolo, Cowherd said. They're just elevating everybody here so nobody lowballs them on an offer. Mike Silver on what the 49ers expected out of Lance. The coaching staff went into this camp with this belief. The best thing for us and the worst thing for opposing defensive coordinators would be Jimmy wins the job legitimately. He starts, he stays healthy, and he plays well. And we have a Trey Lance package every game that we can throw at people and they have to prepare for, and the athleticism alone is going to freak people out, which I certainly agree with when Kylan Cowherd says that because Trey Lance throwing the football combined with him running the football poses a different dimension for Kyle Shanahan's offense that Shanahan hasn't had as the head coach of this football uh, team. And as of right now, I think it's my belief that the 49ers have all of the leverage and power. A team like the Indianapolis Colts could be desperate for a quarterback. Are they willing to overpay for a guy like Jimmy Garoppolo? If that's the case, 49ers could hold on to Jimmy G, let that market kind of increase, and then unload him for some good capital. Also, if Trey Lance is not ready to play and you can just play Jimmy G on a loaded roster around him, you do that because Jimmy G showed you two years ago he is fully capable of carrying or help carrying a Super Bowl ready roster. Will Jimmy G be on the roster week one? Predict it for me right now. Type one for yes, type two for no. Get those predictions in down below in the comment section and let me know if you think Jimmy G is going to be on this roster week one. 
Niner gang, make sure you subscribe to the 49ers Report because here on the channel, we're bringing you the best and the latest 49ers news and rumors as well as training camp updates. Live shows every week, 6 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Pacific right here on Thursday. We also bring you breaking news, and we're trying to get to 40,000 subscribers ASAP, so either hit that red subscribe button down below or go to youtube.com slash 49ers TV. Let's do a little training camp roundup as we round out this segment. As for George Kittle, no surprise here. Only played half of his games last year because of those lingering issues. So far in training camp with the pads on, especially George Kittle, the all-pro, the pro bowler, has looked absolutely dominant. I'm expecting, if he's healthy, to have a monster season in 2021. One Josh in, one Josh out. The 49ers have released Josh Peterson, who is the son of former Eagles coach Doug Peterson, and they have brought in tight end Josh Perkins, who was a tight end on the Eagles that Doug Peterson had coached. A little bit of a brain twist there? I was able to simplify it for you. 49ers also made another signing, bringing in cornerback B.W. Webb. This is a veteran depth piece that they brought in. He's a camp body. I highly doubt he's going to make the 53-man roster, but we will see. Colton McKivitz along the offensive line at right guard. I thought and still think that Aaron Banks, the second-round pick out of Notre Dame, is going to start at right guard, but Colton McKivitz has been getting first-team reps over the last day or so right now today on Thursday, 49ers off of training camp. And Jordan Matthews, the former Eagle, the former 49er, kind of been a journeyman since he had a couple of stable years to start his career with Philly out of Vanderbilt, converted from wide receiver to tight end, Worked a lot this offseason with George Kittle, and on yesterday in practice, as we record this during our live show on Thursday, able to catch a touchdown pass. So is Jordan Matthews going to make this tight end depth chart behind George Kittle somewhat interesting? I'm kind of rooting for that storyline. And lastly, John Lynch, who I think is a really good general manager across the National Football League, is going to be inducted in the Pro Football Hall of Fame this week weekend. This guy was an all-pro, just an incredible safety for a long time with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as well as the Denver Broncos going into the Hall of Fame this weekend. So to show him a little bit of love as he throws on that Hall of Fame jacket, you see that thumbs up icon? Like this video to show some support to the general manager of the Niners for going into the Hall of Fame for his incredible playing days back in the day.